we can see here pramana viparyaya vikalpa nidra smrutayah why i have taken this because there is nidra in that and we are going to discuss uh, neuroscience of sleep so tendency of mind is to find the truth experience the truth that is pramana then sometimes the truth is distorted as by the social media or by net news channels that is viparya then sometimes pure imagination comes into the play that is movies and television serials and all these things that is called as vikalpa and then when we get tired of all these things when we close our eyes and go into sleep that is called as nidra even if it is true or false or inverted anything it can get memorized in our mind that is called as smruti smruti can be true or smruti can be false also so these are the five tendencies of conscious beyond these five core things we don't do anything else with our conscious so this is being given to us 5000 years back this we should remember now we will continue another definition of nidra in detail is abhava pratyaya alambana vritti nidra nidra is a tendency of consciousness where there is abhava means we are not there when i am sleeping do i remember that i am dr mayur no i don't remember pratyaya means going towards or validating the point in support of alambana is in support of so when our existence is ceasing normally naturally even in a dead person the existence will cease but nidra is a reversible state of unconscious there are some irreversible states also that we will see slightly cursory manner we will see so this is another tendency if you have any doubt any question uh, you can put across what i am doing in this uh, pandemic you, you you were discussing about donation of uh, money and uh, doing some good work helping unemployed people all these things similar manner as a doctor as a vaidya what i can do to help my fellow beings i started brahma murut yoga challenge daily morning 5 4:30 to 5:30 on my channel and i have taken a sankalpa to at least help 1 crore human beings to join and to practice daily so that we can learn yoga we can learn the practice of yoga with that we can spread love we can spread forgiveness and we can help everyone now what is the importance of brahma murut yoga that you will come to know what is sleep what exactly is sleep to know that what is consciousness what is chitta what is consciousness awareness of self and surrounding now when we are not aware of ourselves and our surroundings then it is called as sleep it is natural if it is unnatural then it is called as coma you would have heard this word many a times that how oh, that person is in, he is in coma why because that person is not able to identify you identify me or else identify where he is time place and person similarly there are some other different different words which are called as delirium dementia memory loss chronic memory loss and uh, there is something called as uh, delusion confusion and inattention there are many things which happen and sometimes because of intoxication for example alcohol or drugs also we can have unnatural lack of consciousness so this is very very interesting and very very important aspect of consciousness nidra is natural state of unconsciousness one 86 year old gentleman he has asked that i take one fourth tablet of 0.25 mg trica going to bed every night i always sleep on my side yes that is natural it is okay i feel heaviness in the side of the head i sleep when i get up but heaviness vanishes after few minutes that is fine it is fine considering your age uh, you are fine i am diabetic for last 3 years and it is well under control with one 5 mg okay on glyza uh, tablet in the morning i am having diabetic neuropathy that is also possible at your age 
but there is no pain or numbness. I am not taking any medication for that. Please advise exercises to reduce foot and toe stiffness. I request you to go through my YouTube channel where it, there is a playlist on Mayur V Kaku. There is a playlist. If uh, some of my group people are there, they can help them out. Share the playlist of Sukshma Vyayam. Finger related, toe related practices are there that you can see and practice. Okay. Na hathat na balat. Always yoga has to be practiced in a manner where we are not forcing our body to one beyond the limit. Okay. Yes. Even if I sleep at uh, 2 or 3 a.m., I can't sleep beyond 6.30 to 7 a.m. I am sleeping for about an hour in the afternoon and I am not finding any difficulty. Having light exercise and yoga for about an hour in the morning, I am very happy for you, sir. At 77 years of age, you are taking out one hour for exercise and yoga. Excellent. Walking about 5,000 steps. Very nice. Please guide me how I can prolong my sleep by one hour. So about this also, I will discuss in coming up slides. There is something called a sleep hygiene that unfortunately because of so much of contamination by light, there is something called as light pollution. Very interesting that we as human beings have created newer and newer types of pollutions. Unlike other animals, we are the most polluting animals on the planet. This, this we have to put in our mind and keep introspecting about it and try to reduce the pollution which we create. There is something called a sound pollution, there is something called as light pollution, air pollution, water pollution, all these things you know. There is something called as light pollution. Light pollution needs to be reduced as with the sunset, we should become uh, like go into the dark as much as possible. Why we should go that I will discuss in coming up slides. Wherever you feel that you need to ask something, you can put up in the chat box. I will be more than happy to answer that. Where exactly does the consciousness sit? There is something called as ascending reticular activating system in our brain. So if it is called as system, then it is not one place. It is conglomeration of many bundles of neurons. Our consciousness depends upon how we perceive through our five senses. What are the five senses which we have? Eyes, we have ears, we have smell, we have taste and we have touch. Now this touch from tip of the toe to the top of the head, it enters through the spinal cord and enters to the, to the brain stem and then it gets distributed to the cerebral cortex. So here it is, it looks like this. Cerebral cortex is one level we perceive in detail. We perceive about balance in cerebellum and then Thalamus is considered as a relay station. It relays the information after collecting it from rest of the body. So that is how and brainstem obviously brainstem is the one through which the concentrated bundles are getting passed so that they reach the brain. So it's very interesting ascending reticular activating system in the brainstem is actually the place where you know we can say that okay this is very critical point because a lot of traffic jam is there. If that gets damaged, we see people getting unconscious. Uh, our brain is just like a computer. Computer, there is input, then computer, there is output. Input is through mouse click or keyboard, and then output is through printer or loudspeaker or the, on the screen, we get the output. So now here you can see there is system, wake promoting system. And then there is something called as sleep promoting system. These two systems, they work in association with each other and they help the brain either to remain awake or to remain in the sleeping mode. Now what happens as we age, we will come to know, but I will just cursorily go through it. I will make sure that your concept gets cleared so that you will be able to enjoy your sleep better. So there is something called as process S and then there is something called as process C. So there is something called circadian alerting signal and then there is something called as sleep homeostatic drive. One is for up, one is for down. Like in car, there is accelerator and then there is brake. If process C is active, then our alertness level will improve. If the process C is coming down, then we will go for sleep. And in the, in the same way, when the process C is more and more, the sleep homeostatic load will keep on accumulating and through that it will cause us to go for sleep okay for that 
we need electrical signals and we need chemical signals we will see what those signals are now to activate the electrical signal what do we need we need either light or we need dark what what do we do we exhaust our light system by keeping these tube lights and uh, so many other things mobile screen laptop screen computer screen and all these things that is how our eyes they keep on sending wrong signals to the brain our brain thinks through this rht retino hypothalamic tract it thinks that it is still daytime but there is importance of night time also there is importance of darkness also there is importance of closing eyes also and when it happens then there is some very important hormone that is called as melatonin which gets secreted through a gland called as pineal gland and when that happens we will be able to maintain circadian rhythms and for that the switch is scn that is suprachiasmatic nucleus which sits somewhere here here this green color okay are you able to see the cursor i will put a laser yes here so it is just behind the eyes if we go like this there is there are two optic nerves they fuse they form optic chiasm and just above that optic chiasm is there is something called as suprachiasmatic nucleus which is the part of brain that is called as hypothalamus these are all very interesting things and there is an alternative pathway which helps in waking up and keeping us awake that is called as serotonin so it is called as 5 hydroxy tryptamine that is why it is the name is here now once again we will go into this this tract takes the light sends the signals various signals now it's not only that we are like only receiving light we receive many signals we receive food through our eyes we receive our friends or our enemies or the people whom we like or people whom we don't like then there are so many behavioral stimuli which are happening food we like food we don't like places we like places we don't like there are so many things and those things get processed in the brain and then they release many hormones and neural signals which lead to changes in the muscle tone changes in the heart changes in the lung changes in the liver and changes in our digestive system we have to be very very careful what is entering through our senses that's extremely important filtering pollution this this is pollution of the senses and that is why there is a fifth limb of yoga which is called as pratyahar yoga has ashta limba that is ashtanga yoga it is called as yama niyama asan pranayam pratyahar dharana dhyan samadhi so it's very very important so behavioral and physiological criteria of wakefulness and sleep okay when we are sleeping there are two types of sleeps non rapid eye movement nrem if somebody would have undergone some sleep study they would be knowing rapid eye movement rem sleep and in that you will be seeing what and all happens so mobility is reduced here it is reduced there are some jerks which may happen in rem sleep and then response to stimulation is reduced to no response then we, we these two both the sleeps are reversible okay eyes are closed and there is slow eye movement in on nrem and rapid eye movement in rem there are lots of uh, things which happen in rem and that is why we will get dreams also in rem now we will move on how the sleep eeg looks like why whenever we do ecg you know ecg is for heart electrocardiogram when we do it for brain it is called as electroencephalogram if somebody would have undergone they would be knowing that multiple electrodes are put and then we take the reading so there are many waves alpha theta vertex sharp wave sleep spindle k complex slow waves rem and sem and all these things i don't want to go into the details just for your curiosity you can go through it later on now comes the main important topic because many of you are elderly what happens to the natural derangement of uh, sleep you see here at birth lot of sleep is rem and lot of sleep is nrem as we go our nrem sleep also decreases a bit but there is a huge reduction in our rem rapid eye movement sleep and then you can see that overall hours of sleep also are becoming less than 8 hours so if at around you know this is 100 years and you can see this is 20 years so at around 20 years 8 hours of sleep is good but as we age at 40 50 60 
the number of hours of sleep goes down to 6 hours so if 6 hours is there that is fine sufficient not an issue but what is the quality of sleep that we need to understand and quality of sleep okay that is extremely important we have to gradually like the plane no plane lands plane has to land very very smoothly same way when we go into the sleep we have to go very very smoothly into sleep but many a times we will be watching we will be watching movie or tv or reading some novel or something or the here i would like to take a pause and i would like you all of you to chat in the chat box you can put what are the benefits of sleep according to you and what are the disadvantages of sleep according to you so let us do some exercise so that you are actively involved and you are not going into sleep